This is who Emily refers to as the Delvin's first child. Her name is Soleil, and she is a 10-year-old Newfie who loves to play outside. Now, in her last house, she had her own door, but not in this house, at least not yet. Today, Tommy is going to fix that. Come on, darling. This back mudroom is a perfect spot for a dog door. Tom, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, this is my first dog door. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never built one before. Wow. Well, this is the first time, and it couldn't be in the worst spot. How do you mean? Well, it would have been perfect if I could have put the dog door right under this window. Okay. But because it's where it is, I had to cut all the structure that's down here, which is one, two, three, four, two by sixes that are carrying that header up. Well, so why not under the window? Well, if you go outside and take a look under the window, oh. we have a stairway. Yep. So the dog would fall down the stairs. Okay. So I have to move it all the way over here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna build my header in place. So I put my first two by six in there. I'm gonna build it up with three separate pieces and screw it together. So it's like this is not your first dog door. I mean, how did you size this thing? Have you met oh. Soleil? Look, big dog. Well, the dog, I got the height of the dog's shoulder right. from the dog. Oh, okay. All right? <laughs> and I want to go two and a half to three inches above that. That's this. So that's where our rough opening will be. All right. Okay? So I'll just get this in. We'll screw this in place? Screw it in place. Keep that even on the bottom? Yep. Good. Oh. All right, so what I've done is I've cut this stud off right here and I've put the header on top of that stud. Now we have to support this side over here, so we're gonna slip a jack into the wall and I'm gonna slide it again against the king stud that's in the wall. And this will push our header up tight to the structure above. Okay, now I'll just screw that to the king stud. So now this new header will carry the load above. All right, here's your piece. What did you do? Putting the old insulation back in? Yeah, I can salvage the old insulation. I cut it so I can just compress this jack against it, and I'll just fill the void with the expanding foam. No sense in throwing it out. All right, that's it. Now just screw this in. All right, so now I'm ready to cut the rough opening to the outside, and I'm going to follow along the bottom of the header and down each side. I don't want to cut the bottom because they have to cut it about an inch and a half lower because it's going to be pitched. So I'll cut the two sides and the header. All right, Kevin, you want to uh, draw that line across the bottom and make that cut? So now all we have to do is cut these on an angle from this point up to here. Okay. All right, let me well on the try the inside one. See how it fits. Wait a second, Tommy. What is this? It's got two doors. It's yeah. like, like saloon doors. Yeah, they swing in and out so the dog can get out easy because this is such a big opening they didn't want a flap hanging down. By the way, do you have any idea who invented the dog door? Invented the dog door? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. Ben Franklin? It seems like he invented everything. No, it wasn't Ben Franklin. Good guess, though. It was Sir Isaac Newton. What? Yeah, he invented it for his cat. He was tired of getting up and opening the door, so he gave the cat its own way out. Must have been his early work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 
bag. Once that sets up, we'll let it dry and give it another coat. But in the meantime, we can put our inside door in. All right, Kevin, you want to pull all that paper back in around the opening and staple it? Tommy, huh? Yeah, and it's, and closed. yeah, and it's got a lock for security. And when you go away, it's got a vacation door with four screws attached. You screw them on, and no one's gonna get in. Right, well, now all we gotta do is test it. Wanna go out? Wanna go out? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. All job. right. Beautiful. Beautiful. How about that, huh? Yeah, right through. She's a fast learner. Sure is. Nice job. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.